In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to play Human Fly by The Cramps. If you like the video, please like and subscribe down below. We're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. Also, check out the Patreon where you can join for as little as $5 a month. And for this lesson, you'll get a PDF of the lesson as well as a guitar pro file of the lesson that you can play along with. All right, grab a guitar and let's play. There's two main guitar parts in the song. There's the rockabilly uh, driving part, and then there's also the distortion part. We're gonna go for both parts, but we're gonna start with the rockabilly part first. The effects that I'm using in this video is gonna be a Boss tremolo pan pedal, and then a super overdrive set on the lowest amount of distortion. The song's gonna start with a walk down on the 12th fret of the A string, and it's gonna play eighth notes with two notes on each fret, so. And then it'll get right into the A, and hold that for two measures. Once we kick into the intro, it's gonna be riffing on the open A, so two open and then two third frets, two open and two third frets, and that's gonna repeat four times. Two, three, four. Now we're gonna drop down a string to the D string and play that same pattern two measures. Back to the A string for two measures. Now to the E string for two measures. Back to the A string for two measures before the verse comes in. For the first verse, it's going to stay on that A pattern and it's gonna play it six times before coming to a stop. It's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's gonna be a brief pause, and then it's gonna come in on the end of one, and it's gonna do a walk up where it goes Z open, 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 two, four, before getting into the second verse. So those last couple of measures will sound like this. And 
that's the second verse there. The second verse is going to be the same as the first verse. So it's going to start off with the A pattern and stay there. Here comes the stop. Now the bridge is going to start with a D, so getting into the bridge will be... You're going to play that open D, and then you're going to go to the G string and play 5, 4, 3, 2, and then the open A. So... Now we're going to take that walk down to the, uh, to the D string, the fourth string. Open D again. Then we're going to go back to the G string. Back to the A string. Then we're going to go to the D string again for the 5, 4, 3, 2. And then we're going to go right back to the E riff. And back to the A. Next we're going to get into the third verse. The third verse is going to be the same as the first and second. Three, four, five, six. The outro verse is going to be the same as the other verses. It's going to repeat that pattern six times, and then it's going to have the walk up. And then you can start that walk down on the E string on the 12th fret, two notes a piece, until you get to the low E. If that's too much of a jump for you, you can start either here on the 7th fret of the 5th string, or even the 2nd fret of the 4th string. And just walk down chromatically. Now that we've gone over the first guitar, let's take a look at the distorted part. The distorted guitar is just going to play whole notes accompanying the rockabilly sort of lead part. And we're just going to start off with four A5s. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to get into a D5. into the verse you're just going to be playing the the a5 <clears throat> and it's going to do this six times so it's like one two three and at the end of that it's just going to make a little noise like a little ringing feedback the bridge is where the distorted guitar does something different and it's all going to be played on the low six string and it's going to go 5, 5, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6, 5, 5, 4, 4. And then it's going to go 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. And then those two parts are going to repeat. come in with an E and then to the A and then we're gonna go back into another verse another verse and then finally the end of the song if you have any questions leave them for me down in the comments and please like and subscribe we're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers also check out the patreon we can join for as little as five dollars a month and you get a guitar pro file of this lesson as well as a PDF all right we'll see you in the next video